Hello, and welcome to Super Brothers Sword and Sorcery, with a quirky little SW in Sorcery, because why not? EP, whatever that means. I guess my theory is that the game isn't very long, so it's sort of a not demo, but not a full game, maybe? Or maybe it's just some random reference to it being sort of a musical game and lots of audio stuff. I have no clue, but I've been meaning to play this game for quite a long time, and since I beat a story about my uncle, I figured I'd get back into a point-and-click game. It's been a very long time, I haven't really been feeling it, and to be completely honest, I still am not quite feeling it, but I'll probably get into it, I'm thinking. More than likely, so we'll give this a shot. So I've actually played this game a little bit before, about two hours, apparently, and according to the... you get like a progress bar, saying how far into the game you are, according to that, I was about 60% of the way through, almost two-thirds. So, this game is not very long, judging by that, but what with this being a let's play, and talking, and commentating, and reading, and intros, outros, you name it, it's probably gonna take a lot longer, so we'll see. But, you might be asking, why is this in 720p? I haven't done a 720p video in quite a long time. And I don't want to make it in 720p, but for some reason, I don't know why, this game absolutely tanks when I try to record it in full screen 1080p. I haven't tried non-full screen 1080p, but then I would have to look into a bunch of windowed portalist stuff, and that's just too much effort. But both with OBS and with DxTory, it just didn't work. I couldn't record it in 60fps. With OBS, there was massive slowdown both in the game and the recording software, and with DxTory, it dropped the frames to like 33 or something, which why am I even playing at 60 then? I'm not. I'm definitely not. So it doesn't make any sense, but I switched it down to 720p and now things seem kind of fine-ish. I hope, I guess we'll see as the game goes on, and this is sort of a pixelish art style game, so I don't think the highest fidelity is necessary, not to undermine the graphics of this game, it's beautiful, but you know, it's pixel style, you don't really need that 1080p, so I opted for having 720 and 60 instead of 1080, 30, if that would have even worked, who knows, but just so you're clear on that. so. I guess with that, I'm actually gonna try to keep this video a bit short, just to try things out, because I'm still not sure if everything's gonna be alright with the recording, so we'll just try and get into it, so let's just quickly take a look at the settings menu, because I do that for some reason. So resolution goes up to, I don't even know, it goes as high as he wants, I think. Full screen on and off, I'm playing windowed, as I've said. Volume, I leave at 100%. You don't really have different audio sliders, which would be nice, but this game is primarily just music and sound effects. I mean, mu sound effects that kind of tie into the music, so it doesn't really make any sense to... Uh, to not have those be as loud as the music you'll see. Then there's some weird Twitter integration. I don't quite understand the Twitter thing. This is like a weird experiment where you tweet about your progress and stuff. I don't even have Twitter. I used to have Twitter, but because I was only using it to link, automatically use YouTube to post Twitter links, or uh, YouTube links on Twitter, apparently Twitter was like, that's illegal, off you go, off with your head, and my account is just gone. So I haven't really bothered getting back into Twitter. So I'm gonna play without Twitter, but apparently you can play with Twitter, I don't even know. There's gonna be a lot of random, hey, you should tweet this now, messages and stuff. I don't know what's up with that, but we'll just take it as it comes, I suppose. So that's about it. I guess we'll get into the game, I think. What else? Information? Uh, hey. Oh, fuck. How's it going? Wanna jam? No. Good. Let's rock. No. Can I leave? I've done this before. This is the credits, and they are extremely long. Thank God. Yeah, they, they take a long time, and you can't really skip through them, so... 
No, I'm not gonna do that. Maybe, maybe once I'm done with this, if I ever am, we'll see how all this goes. So let's just get into the game. Okay, so here we have this. What can you do? You can click. Nothing happens, but if you click on the dude, oh my god, he dances. So that's cool. You can make him dance. And there's the title in brackets for some reason. Or are those even called brackets? I have no idea. Ladies and gentlemen, how's about you tap these two little sylvan sprites so I can get a feel for your stereo sound system? Okay, everyone wearing headphones? Good. Left? That kind of sounded like right. I mean, I guess it was primarily left. Hold on, I'll be quiet. Yeah, that's definitely right. Alright, fine. Our research indicates that social support networks will play a significant positive role in the outcome of S, S, and S, EP. I'm not gonna use Twitter, no. Note, the ability to broadcast your findings is an entirely optional component of S, S, and S, EP. It is intended to be used in moderation. So don't spam Twitter with your progress, I guess. We are profoundly grateful that you have chosen to participate in this experimental treatment for acute soul sickness. Great label. You'll find this first SSSSSSS session to be fairly straightforward. It typically only requires 15 to 30 minutes to complete. Huh. Okay. I don't even know if I'm gonna have time for that. We'll see. Ready to begin? Press play and let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. Oh, okay, thought I had to do something else. Here we go! Look! Listen! She can look. Tip-tap. I'm not sure what tip-tap means. Oh! Double-click to move. But you can also do this. You can hold, and then it will continue to move wherever you hold it. But yeah, I guess tip-tap to move and look around like this. You can actually, I noticed... Oh? Huh. Didn't know that. There's a lot of stuff to click on in this game. This game is kind of a pixel hunt, from what I remember. Lots of just trying to find stuff to click and progress and stuff. It's a bit weird sometimes. Oops! I just moved my entire window. Yeah, I can't really see anything here. Also, I noticed because my recording key is actually minus on my numpad, but I had to move it because apparently minus is a thing in this. You can minus to look at things, which is cool. You can just zoom out and then zoom back in with plus. So I guess we'll stay like this because it's sort of the intended thing. So, hi doggy. I can talk to my dog. Actually, I can pet my dog. And then he moves away. Yeah, I think this is easier, just doing this kind of thing. Tip-tap that guy, or I can just follow my dog. Well, I guess we'll go and talk to this guy first. For all the sheep. We spied a few worthless sheep, lacing around in the meadow. Yeah, for some reason, the main character, I think it's a she, always says things in... What would that be? Not even third person? In... Collective person? I have no idea. Few sheep. Yeah, few sheep. Can I check this? In the meadow, there was an Im immovable... Immovable? Yeah, I guess so. Iron gate blocking a cavernous cave. Very cavernous. We spied a thingamajig above the iron gate. So, can I look at, like, this? Yeah, you can look at stuff. We spied an oddly shaped stick overlooking the meadow. Alright. What if I look at... Yeah, cool. I didn't even know this. We spied an angry bird sculpture looming above the meadow. Oh. Why did it seem back like that? Can't check anything else. What about the sun? Oh, you can't look at the sun. We can vividly remember how awesome the sun looked on that particular early spring day. And what about this one? We spied an angry bird sculpture. Yep. Alright. Alright. What about this? No. I don't think there's a way to, like, see exactly what 
you can check and not. It's telling me to go this way, but I'm gonna wait. Nope, hold on. Stop. Stop it. Halt. Let's just check. Oh, damn it. I wanna see if you can look at anything here. Like the water. What if you just try to go left? Apparently nothing. Alright. So I can just do this, and then tip-tap this guy, and he will just move over. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I really like the music. It's very simple, but very atmospheric. Far from the war ra blah, blah, blah. war ravaged steps of Scythia? Scythia? I'm gonna say Scythia. We met a dark-haired girl in a sunlit meadow. Oh, I thought it was a dude. And yeah, apparently this is a Scythian? Or like, the main character is a Scythian or Scythian, I have no idea exactly how that's pronounced. To the mountain folk of the Ca Caucasus? Caucasus? I don't even know. She was known as Girl, and she seemed nice. Your creative name? Hi, girl. What you doing, girl? Far from the... Okay, never mind. Nothing? Can I look at your sheep again? No. Alright. Fine. Guess I'll leave. If that's how you want to be. Let's follow my dog. Hi, dog. Well, couldn't check it. I know those there's something, some achievement about, like, catching those bunnies, but I remember when I played it, I could never do that. Oh, you can see them with the scroll wheel as well. That's actually way more convenient. Look at the smoke. Oh, yeah. We spied a sturdy stone hut with a roof of thatch that stood beside a deep water pond. The well? We spied a solid, ah, solidly... Sorry, there's gonna be a lot of weird stuttering and... slurring and... stumbling over my words and stuff in this. I'm not a great reader, and especially not when... it's it's trying to be a bit poetic and all that stuff. We spied a solidly built water well with a broad wooden roof. What about the dog? Oh, it's just gonna lead me onward. Can I attract some fish or something? Don't think so. Let's look at the the lumber. We spied a pile of chopped firewood. No big deal. NBD. Oh, this thing. No, it's running away. Fine. Oh, I keep dragging the window. Yeah, that's that's it. Can't really check anything. All right. Can I just enter his house without his his uh, permission? Let's see. Home is where the hearth is. Get it? Get it? Because it's not heart. It's clever. Oh, we can. I can just sit down here. Yeah, there's a lot of weird stuff where like. You might actually have something happen if you just sit here for long enough. Also, apparently there's something about moon faces. So I guess it's actually full moon out today? I... I... or maybe that's not full moon, that's like... not quite full moon? I have no idea. There's some weirdness about moon cycles in this game. And some achievement where you apparently... uh... cheat the time and date settings to have the, the moon be in the face you want? I don't even know. Inside the hut, we spied a little round something or other above the hearth. Check the hearth. Inside the hut, the hearth was quietly crackling with familiar warmth. It sure was. Can I check the moon? No, because that's technically not inside here, I guess. Yeah, that's about it. Let's head outside. Okay. Funny. Nope. Dog? Let's pet him. Hey. Hey. Don't hey me. Huh? Hey you. The wood chopping woodsman chopped wood. 
to the mountain folk of the Caucasus, Caucasus, Caucasus. He was known as Logfella, and he seemed cool. Logfella knew about our woeful errand, and he agreed to lead us up to the old road. What is our woef woeful errand? Still, we definitely got the feeling that he wasn't super jazzed about this. Very quirky writing. I remember that. Very quirky writing. I should zoom in here. Wow, that's some frame drops. Holy crap. Yeah, that's... Damn it. Oh, and then it's good again. So it was like only when he was putting on his fucking... Backpack? It just lagged the fuck out? That's a bit weird. Oh, God. Yeah, and dropping again. Oh, my God. Oh, this is horrible. This is horrible. I don't understand why it's doing this. Oh, man. The woodsman waited for us to continue along the path to the, to, that, to the start of the old road. Sure. Fine. God damn it. Frame drops. I don't get it. This game should not be causing frame drops for anyone ever. It's so simple, but for some reason it just doesn't work when recording. I tried everything. Nothing works. Check this shrine thing. We spied a curious looking nest box with an inscription that read, Tweet, and ye shall be retweeted, or retweeted. Sure. I wonder if the developer, if that's some, some automatic stuff, or if the developer is just actually retweeting every single tweet about this game ever. That would be kind of interesting. I'm not gonna tweet though. I'm never gonna tweet. So I could just go up here, apparently. Pet my dog again, for good measure. The woodsman confirmed 100% that he had the only key to the locked door in the stone wall. It was a really nice looking key. We were totally ready to just tap and hold on the path ahead, to move it, move it, move it. So yeah, now they told you to tap and hold, and not just tap, 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 tap. Hold on, let's check this. Scythia, Cimmeria, Assyria, and Persia. These are all kingdoms of men. Mingita is the kingdom of the clouds. Or, of the cloud. Sure. Hey. Hey. Hey, you. No, hold it. There we go. This music kind of reminds me of Flashback a little bit. That sort of acoustic bass melody thing. Oh man, the frame drops. Yeah, this is bad. This is so bad. This is so bad. God damn this game. I might not even be able to do it. I'm not sure. We'll see. Astride a log bridge on the old road stood a grim flagpole adorned with blocky looking skulls. They are very blocky. Moon face? No, nothing. They're just waiting. Waterfall? No waterfall. Bridge? No. Okay. Just keep moving then. Oh. It's a beast! The woodsman had seen some kind of creepy monster thing, and he figured he'd just let us handle it. Yeah, I remember something about this combat as well, and I don't quite know how it worked. By the side of the old road, there was a stone cart with a pair of glyphs in the shape of a sword and a shield. Great! Sure. Walk here. Yeah, there's some sort of combat system, but I don't know how it works. Fight? Yes. Uh... Right-click. Right-click to fight. Okay. Lock. I think I blocked? Oh, I probably have to block and then hit. No? Huh. Maybe I should just hit when he's trying to hit me? I'm not sure. Yeah, I think this is working. 
But now he's doing something else. He's fleeing! I see. Of course. Okay, and sheath my sword with right click. Right? Makes sense? What's this? That's just my health, I guess? And tweeting about things? Some graves? We spied a collection of graves in a thicket to the side of the old road, and we wondered what was up with that. We did, I guess. Can I go this way? I can go up here, but that's about it. And yeah, as I said, I might actually just leave it here for today. Haven't really done anything, but I really just want to make sure everything is working. Well, it's not really working correctly, but I'll leave it here and then see if I can make something else, some change about this. I don't know why I'm having so many recording issues with this game. It just doesn't make any sense. It's on an SSD, it's on a pretty good computer. Compared to many other games that I've recorded flawlessly, this should be nothing, but it's just not working. But maybe I'll try out the story again in 720p, maybe I'll look into other stuff, we'll see. But I'm gonna leave it there for today, and we'll continue on next time. I'm not sure how saving works, if I can just continue here, if I actually have to redo the things I've done. If so, then that's not a big deal. So, Sword and Sorcery, first episode. I'm liking this game, I'm not liking the technical difficulties though, so... We'll see how it goes, if I decide to stick with this, or if I have to abandon it or something. So I'll see you next time! Hope you enjoyed, thanks for watching, bye bye!